This is Matthew of Another World Terraria, where I teach and inspire you on the topics of rare plants and artistic nature displays. Grow rack setups are a convenient and efficient way to house and expand your collection of terrarium plants. In this video, part one of a tutorial series about grow racks, I'll show you how to assemble a wire rack with plant bin setups in mind. I've unboxed everything here. You've got your bottom poles, which touch the floor and the little feet that you screw into the bottom. Then these are the second level poles so that you can get the higher shelves. Then you've got your shelves and then you've got these little plastic clip things which help hold the shelves onto the legs and I'll show you how that all sets up. Step one is to insert the feet into the bottom pole so you just screw those in. These are leveling feet so once you set up the rack and you put all four legs down uh, you can adjust these by screwing them in and out and that will allow you to level the rack if the floor isn't perfectly level so that the rack doesn't wobble. Okay, this is pretty easy to do. You just make sure that you have these aligned so that the little arrow is pointing up and this is the bottom of the leg, so we're gonna point them that way. There's a little rib right here on the inside and you just align that with the little indentation on the leg. I'm gonna put mine uh, all the way towards the bottom. I'm not gonna use this bottom one. I'm gonna use the one just right here, but as close as I can. The way I do it is I pop it on here a little above and then I slide it down until it clicks in place and then I know that that's in there good. Then you take the other one, pop it on the other side and do the same. And then they kind of just lock together like that. And once you know it's on there and it's not gonna slide, you're good to go. Next step is you're gonna have to figure out where to put the clips and how far apart so that you can determine where the shelves will be and that you can fit your bins and all that. You're gonna to have to take into account the height of the rack that you've purchased and how many shelves it came with and the height of the bins that you're using and lights and all that. So you're gonna to have to uh, look at all of your stuff and figure that out for yourself and do some math. And then one little trick is when you're laying these on the ground before you set it up and you have the clips on there um, and you've kind of positioned it, you can just test it and you can just take your bin or whatever and slide it right up against there and then you can just make sure that you have enough space for the bin and the lights and everything. Okay, I got a couple little pro tips for you that's gonna make assembly a lot easier. First thing I like to do is lay the rest of the legs out next to each other once I get my clip position set up and I take a little piece of tape with a label that says top and an arrow or whatever and I just put that right there on that clip. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go across the rest of these and put that tape in the same spot here. And I'm gonna do that here as well and all the way down. So then every single rack has a little marker in just the right spot. And then we have to take these clips off so that we can assemble the rack, but then we'll know exactly where to put them and they'll all be equal and it will be much easier than having to count and remeasure and stuff. Okay, I don't need to put any tape or anything on these ones at the top because it's right at the very top, so that's easy. Uh, then this one I marked, and I'm going to pull these clips off in a minute. Marked all those, pull those clips off, same here. And then the bottom one, I put all the clips on because these ones need to be on there right away for assembly. The next part can be a little tricky if you don't have anyone to help you, but it's not too bad. What we're going to do is we're going to take the first rack and we're going to slide it down over the bottom poles so that we have it all the way at the bottom and we're going to kind of stand that up and then we'll move to the next step. One thing we're going to have to do is make sure that the rack is securely on those clips and seated in there. So we're going to use a mallet, but what I like to do is install the second shelf before I do that. Remember that little tape marker we made to make it a lot easier? I just stick it right here and slide it down until it snaps in place. Stick the other one on there. And we're good to go. I can just pull that off and then we can move to the, all the other legs and put the clips in. Okay, adding the second rack is much easier than the first one because the legs and everything are in position. Now we want to make sure that the rack is totally seated on there and it's holding the clips against the legs so that it never falls apart. So what I like to do is take a little mallet and a towel to protect the shelf and soften the blow a little bit because this is, you know, this is steel. 
but uh, you might have a rubber mallet or something that would be a little bit better to use. Not like super hard, but you know, firmly, just kind of bang it down like that. And you'll often see the thing, the little metal thing right here slide down a little and you'll see the black part, you know, shown a little bit more and then you know it's more secure. So I do that here and then I kind of do it on this little side right like that. And then I'm gonna do that for all the rest of the legs um, on the other three. And then I'm gonna move down to the very bottom shelf and do that on the bottom shelf as well. Okay, next step, super easy. Just take the threaded end of the top pole and stick it into the uh, bottom pole and then just screw it right in there. Okay, we're just gonna make sure that the top pole is screwed firmly into the bottom pole and then we're gonna attach the other three top poles. The rest of the steps is exactly the same as what we've already done. So I'm just gonna place the clips matching the tape on every leg. I'm gonna slide the next shelf down. I'm gonna hammer it with the mallet to make sure it's seated. And then I'm gonna do the same for this one and then for the top one. Well, it was a bit of work, but we got the rack all assembled and it is a beautiful thing. There are two more steps that you're gonna to wanna to take. One is you're gonna to wanna to position the rack exactly in the spot that you're gonna use it. And then the second step is you're gonna to wanna to make sure it is level. Ideally, you would have a level. Uh, at the moment, I do not have a level, but you would lay the level the long way and make sure that the shelves are level this way and then you would lay the level, you know, the depth of the shelf and make sure that it's level front to back so that it's not leaning forward or back. And then one final thing is I would recommend that you use the attaching hardware to make sure that the rack is against the wall. Um, so if you bump it or there's an earthquake, it won't tip over. In the next part of the tutorial, we're gonna set up the lights.